The Hobby King electronic speed controllers can be programmed using the throttle of your transmitter. To program the ESC, you'll need a brushless motor, a receiver with the BEC connected to the throttle channel, a battery, and of course, a transmitter that's bound to the receiver. To enter the programming mode, turn on your transmitter and advance the throttle fully. Now, apply power to the ESC by connecting it to the battery. The ESC immediately goes into programming mode. The programming language consists of five letters, A through E. These letters each have their individual sound. Here's what the letter A sounds like. Here's the letter B. Now C, D, and finally E. Two A's would be two beeps, three A's would be three beeps, etc. Each letter or combination of letters is repeated four times to give you plenty of time to choose that option. When you come to the option you want to select, fully retard the throttle, wait for the confirmatory beeps, and disconnect the power. If you want to change several settings, you must go through the series again. Most of the options are mutually exclusive. For example, if you choose lithium ion batteries, the nickel metal hydride battery setting is not active. Some of the options like brake and motor rotation flip-flop. So if your brake is on, choosing brake would turn it off. And if your brake is off, choosing brake would turn it on. The throttle option synchronizes the transmitter throttle positions to those expected by the ESC. Listen to the sequences. First is throttle. This is the A sound, but it's repeated four times. Next we've got the brake mode. The B sound is three beeps, and of course we get four Bs. Next we're in the nickel metal hydride battery mode, which is the C sound, and of course that's repeated four times. Lithium ion batteries come next, and by now you've gotten the idea.
Now let's program the ESC together. Let's change the brake mode. First, I'm going to determine what the brake setting is at this time. All right, so now that we've determined that, we will program it. Fully advance the throttle, power on the ESC. Wait for the sequences to come to the B sound. Once you've heard the B sound, fully retire the throttle. Remove the power. That's it. Now, let's test to make sure that our settings have changed. Sure enough, good job. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something today. Goodbye.